Okay, I want to start off by saying here, um, I apologize in advance for the video quality. I know it's not the best, but until I figure out how to record the DS professionally, this is all I can really do. And I also wanted to say, even though I lost, the reason I'm uploading this video is because he had a full EV train team. Now, I don't know if this will make a lot of difference to some people, but I only had one EV trained Pokemon throughout that whole thing, and that was Rena, my Crobat. Everything else was not EV trained, nor did it have a good move set, so I was proud of myself that I got that far. Okay, I'm gonna kinda try and narrate this battle. So I sent out Swift, he sent out Bubbles. Now we're both doing the Stealth Rock thing. That's how I normally set up my battles. Okay, so I used Flamethrower because that was the only thing that could really hurt it, and he switched to Gyarados. I was not expecting that, so as you can see, the Flamethrower didn't really do that much, but hey, you know? So then I switched to Volt, and I'm thinking, okay, I can do this. He Dragon Danced, and I was going to use Thunder. Then he uses a Waterfall, and I thought that was it. I thought it was going to be one hit KO'd, but I guess not. Volt used Thunder, uh, took down the Gyarados, and I was freaking out. So, now I'm ready for the next Pokemon. He sends out a Metagross, and the Metagross bullet punches me, so there was nothing I could really do for Volt. Here's the mistake I did. I was thinking to myself, oh, he can't one-hit KO my Infernape because he has Focus Sash. But instead, I forgot that there was rocks out, so I kind of fucked that up. I used a Flame Wheel here, and I should have continued with, with a Flame Wheel, knowing that he was going to switch to a Ghost type, considering that I was going to use a fight, uh, Fighting type. But, unfortunately, I'm not that smart. So, basically, I used Close Combat, didn't do anything. He used Sludge Bomb, did a lot of damage to me. Now I use Flame Wheel, and unfortunately, Blaze gets knocked out. There was nothing I could really do about that. But, um, so then I switch to Rena. Knowing that he was going to switch, I go ahead and use uh, Pursuit, so I could go ahead and get a knockout. And I was right, he was going to switch out. But, the only reason I knew that is because he told me. Anyways, so this guy, um, I didn't think I had anything that could really beat Bubble, so I used U-Turn up into Snizors, so I could Brick Breaker. But, uh... Apparently that wasn't going to work because she thunderbolts me and paralyzes me, decreasing my speed. But, hey, I still got an attack in. So, I was like, okay, you know, I'm thinking I'm okay. And then I was going to finish her off with bullet punch, but I guess he kind of expected that and switched to nine tails, which kind of fucked me over in the end. Um... Then what I did was here, I switched to Marowak, thinking she was going to use some type of fire move, but she hypnosis me, or he hypnosis me, or whatever the hell the trainer was. Right now, the nine tails is a chick. She hypnosis me, I switched to Blitz, thinking she was going to do it again, and then I would just use Sleep Talk. Unfortunately, that was not the plan. So now I'm going to try and T-Bolt her. Um, at this point, I was thinking, like, oh, that's going to hurt, but then I forgot Snorlax had thick fat, so I was very happy about that. And then I was thinking, okay, I'm going to T-Bolt her to death now. And that actually worked. I was very happy about my Snorlax. So right here I decided to use Rest just in case I wasn't able to take any type of uh, attacks that this Absol was about to bring out. So I rested, and then I was going to continue with my sleep talking. I used a Night Slash. It did a really good amount of damage to me. I was like, but I thought, you know, I was like, Okay, I can. I know I can take one more, so I'm going to sleep talk one more time. Hopefully I can pull out with that T-Bolt. But, on, well, actually this was pretty good. Instead of the T-Bolt, I got Giga Impact, which one hit KO'd Absol, which I was very happy about. Now I know I'm pretty much going to die here, and I, I wasn't expecting Bullet Punch, but I guess that was something I should have expected. To, uh, expected. So I sent out Rena. I can't really do much to this guy right now, so I used a U-turn. My fire guy's out, so I switched to Swift, and but then I forgot he was still asleep. I was going to use Flamethrower, but shit, he was still asleep. So I started to panic here, and I thought I could have switched out, but I thought, you know what, maybe he'll wake up this turn. He did not. I died from Meteor Mash, and the battle pretty much ends with me sending out Rena. 
Oh, Renum is my last Pokemon, and my only EV. Oh, wait, never mind. I had a Scizors. Forgot I had a Scizors. Right, and he makes me flinch here, if I believe. I'm pretty sure he makes. Yeah, he makes me flinch here. And I used a Bullet Punch, just trying to get in a little extra damage. I was like, okay, so I'm dead. Now, this is my final Pokemon. I switched to Rena, thinking, like, okay, well, there's nothing else on. I can do, so I'm just gonna straight up fuck it and uh, use a Brave Bird. But that didn't quite do any damage, and I lost. But I had fun with it, and the guy did a great battle. And rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you.